What is good y'all, it is Anime K here and we are back with another video and today we're, I'm basically going to be defending Blue Lock and also talking about what I like about Blue Lock because basically right, I've been seeing a lot of a bit of hate against Blue Lock and I just want to come on here and talk about what I like about it and also why people shouldn't be hating it, you know, it, it all kind of intertwine into one. So first off, I've got the camera angles. Now with Blue Lock, right, why people are already calling it the best sports anime is because of the different camera angles that is shown because i say this a lot in videos we've never seen this before but with this we have never seen angles like this i'll put some clips on the screen right now you'll probably be seeing them as i'm talking and you'll see there's just the different angles and especially right with Asagi's final shot right you know the shot to win the game their last game with each other right episode 11 or 12 the different angles that they're showing it felt like i was watching var like in real life so no sports anime has been able to display the different camera angles and the different shots that Blue Lock has been able to produce. So that's one reason why people are already ready to put it up there with the best sports anime. And unfortunately, there's other sports animes like Hacker You, like Karuka, but just because Blue Lock was made so recent, I feel like Blue Lock has been able to display one better graphics and two just more stuff that maybe if Kuroko or these other sports animates got revamped or remastered would have that as well but moving on people don't like it because it's a lot like a shonen anime and look maybe it has cat shonen type stuff in there with the intense moments but i don't know i kind of love that and i think it fits the story perfectly because people don't understand right the main point of the story one is to be selfish and two only think about yourself so that's why out there it's a war and it's a battle because don't go wrong right these other good sports enemies right they are good and don't go wrong right i love them all right but I think finally getting to have a new thing to sports anime is where the whole concept of them thinking about themselves and like every game is a war, not just against your opponent, but also against your teammates because they're all fighting for that number one spot. I feel like it brings a new thing to sports anime that we've just not seen before. And I feel like this is a common thing with Blue Lock and why, again, I'll say people will put it up there as one of the best animes because there's so many stuff that Blue Lock brings that we've never seen before. Like, like with any genre or any popular thing in the world, in order to be big in it, you have to bring something new or bring something that people will look and go, I didn't think it was going to get better, but damn. That's how I look at Blue Lock in terms of sports animes. And like I said before, it's just good watching each character play every single game like their life literally depends on it. Wait, that's how sports should be. You should play sports that like your life depends on it because that, me being an ex-basketball player, right? I used to play basketball every time like my life depended on it. So watching an anime like Blue Lock, I can really kind of relate to it in some ways. And is that intense because people, People don't understand, right? Only one or two percent of people who want to do some type of sports, let's say football or basketball, actually make it. So even though the anime may seem like they're over-exaggerating, it literally feels like your life will be over if you do not make it in sports. Because a lot of people that play sports don't have a backup plan. Even though people say, yeah, it's a bit cringy and they're overacting, right? Then people they have never played sports before because again, I'll say when you're playing sports, not a lot of people make it in sports and it's literally like a life or death situation. Obviously I'm over exaggerating a bit. You can, obviously if you don't make it in sports, you could venture into other stuff, but really play sports and want to be a basketball player, a football player, that's the only thing they're focused on and they can't see themselves doing anything else. But moving on, I've got it's realistic. And I mean the moves in the show are realistic because with these other animes, I use Kuroko as an example a lot because that's my favorite sports anime right now, right? I think with Kuroko, I'll say there's a lot of moves in there that are unrealistic. You know, you've got Kuroko's pass and then you've got Kisei copying um, the other generation of miracles moves well anyone's moves really but I feel like with blue lock if you've realized and I didn't realize until someone actually pointed out to me in a video that I was watching actually and is that every move in blue lock can be imitated in real life and blue lock doesn't use unrealistic moves like Isagi's shot right that's basically just a volley or you've got Nagi with his good ball control right in real life, you get that as well. You know, midfielders like Iniesta, you know, um, or the left back Marcelo, who used to play for Real Madrid. You know, you've got footballers in real life that can do this stuff in Blue Lock as well. So I feel like 
it makes it more relatable in a sense but it but blue lock did this so under kind of undercover or like i didn't really realize until it was pointed out to me that all the moves are so realistic but it's just how sick and how epic they make these moves look it kind of looks like it's impossible to do but was obviously the right training you could do that and that's not me saying it the moves would be easy to do i'm just saying that our football players at the highest level that that can perform these same moves as well and lastly the story brings something we haven't seen before because it is a common theme with sports animes that have the um let's do it together the team fighting spirit you know this you know stuff like that right the whole we need to do it together and we're going to be a team and everything's going to be good but this anime again brings something different because blue lock we've never seen a sports anime where the main focus of the anime is to be number one and not care about your teammates and usually what you'll see with a lot of sports anime is if there's a character like that they always try and change them and at the end of the anime typically they will buy in more to the team type of playing style but with blue lock the main goal is to be number one and not care about your teammates at all like i said before early in the video you're not only worrying about your opponent but you're also worrying about your teammates on the pitch because they are also one trying to take your spot and two trying to outshine you as well but the whole concept of being an egotist and you have to be number one it just brings something it brings a new flavor and a new something to sports animes that i'm repeating myself again we haven't seen before but look this is kind of me defending blue lot because i have seen a lot of criticisms of the anime and i've seen positive stuff as well but i feel like this anime needs to get more recognition because scrolling through social media i don't really see a lot of blue lock being mentioned now it is don't get me wrong but that's only because i follow blue lock content so but i feel like the average anime account won't really post about it but we need to let's get blue lock out there let's get more people watching it and also like comment subscribe share the video and tell me your favorite thing about blue lock in the comments and thank you for listening and peace i am out